What is up DTube Steam Blockchain? So today I want to do a video that I am going to call, might sound a bit intense, being 2030 ready. So what do I mean with being 2030 ready? It sounds as, it may sound a long time in the future, 10 years, but I look back 2009, 2019, it went pretty quick. And, uh, so I think 10 years is sort of like a good sort of time frame to sort of look at this at. So being 2030 ready, first of all, we don't know. Of course, we don't know. We don't know how 2030 exactly is going to look like, but we can see what we're doing right now and we can see sort of where things are heading. And what we're seeing heading is towards a world where the robots is doing what humans used to do and um, what we're seeing and I especially see it on YouTube right now is a way more laid back a way more normalized sort of experience of people sort of exploring their own sort of stuff and other people can sort of be fascinated about that and it's it's a way more chill it, it's way more chill than even just a couple of years ago where these robots and these uh, phones, when they get really, really intelligent, they do free people up. They have some extra time here and there. And they it opens up maybe this space where they sort of realize, oh, wait, I am a human being. Uh, a human being was something in the past that we did not really have time to sort of look at because we were busy doing all these other things. So, 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 this is something that's quite interesting. A lot of people that are starting to do something creative, something that they love, they sort of think that other people start paying attention to them because they want to see the thing itself. Well, when you actually really dive deeper into it, it's, it's more that people want to see a being that is doing something, that is exploring something, that is perceiving something, that is developing something. It's more that. It's more that that they want to see a human doing some human thing and that they are a being and not not um not a robot not a robot or not uh, an artificial intelligence so 2030 we know we uh, looking at technology already right now we know it's going to do all the stuff especially 10 years of improvements. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm looking back 2017, 2019, and I see, whoa, phones are so much more intelligent in just two years. And imagine 10 years, 10 years, whoa. It, it is going to be so, so, so big difference. And and the biggest difference is just this, that, that the only thing that's going to be interesting is going to be watching other human beings and uh, and see what, what sort of they're doing, what they're up to, and having human beings that are actually being, and that might sound super strange, but it, you, a person really has to have a little bit of a space to sort of understand that aspect, that that is the the most significant aspect of a human is the being aspect that they are supposed to know how to be this means also humans are supposed to understand that they generate their own thoughts their own emotions their own experience they are their own chemical factory and uh, this is going to be something that we all already see right now that people are sort of starting to have in their awareness. And um, and being 2030 ready, which means I think we're going to see this shift, this like big, big shift where a lot of people eventually going to realize that it sort of is a shift. It is, it's, it's like a it's like a paradigm shift uh, or you can call it maybe a uh, dimensional shift uh, <laughs> yeah so so right now humans are only concerned about survival uh, which means they they cannot really 
they cannot really they cannot really be a human being when they're only concerned about survival it is competitive and if it's competitive it is that is that is basically the only focus which is kind of sad uh it is kind of sad and it's, it sort of has to um it sort of has to shift uh the people the people do other stuff than just survival stuff because it, that should be covered already and i and i think you're gonna see that sort of shift uh, which is very very interesting so a lot of people i think are gonna first of all yeah look at other human beings and sort of evaluate them and sort of consider stuff more i mean humans are thinking more now than ever before in history i mean they're really starting to consider everything because humans are even though it might sound a bit uh, like when you're reading the news and stuff like that yes you see all the craziness but if you really like talk to people and stuff like that you see that people are way more open-minded now <laughs> i mean there is there is so much more open-minded and they want stuff to fit of course into a logical framework so you sort of you can for example it's very interesting now when humans are sort of starting to dive deeper into understanding other humans uh, you have these forums these online forums where people are exploring different personality types and it's amazing to see how big this niche is and you sort of consider if the whole world like started to like understand other human beings that can really change things fast uh it probably will change things fast because people have a when people have a deeper understanding of other human beings and also when they see other human beings being human beings they can uh they get more understanding they get way way more understanding and it's kind of funny how this technology makes it eventually so uh, that being a human is like the highest value right and it it becomes the most useful thing because the thing with the ai is it, it can never be human like the artificial intelligence is going to be great it's going to do a lot of cool cool stuff but we will know that it's not a human being because we can detect it because there is something about humans that you know they can detect they can detect when something is real uh even though that might sound uh might sound strange but i'm fairly sure that most people can detect aspects of life so that is what i wanted to talk a little bit about today so being 2030 ready is just to start to prepare already right now a little bit on a daily basis to basically go towards becoming an enhanced human being a lot of stuff a lot of habits a lot of things at the moment that people are doing they that they think enhance their faculties it's actually lowering their faculties it's actually not enhancing their 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 own their own human being uh which is kind of sad uh because it should it shouldn't be that way people should become more enhanced but that also means that they have to become these have to become, become more aware for how things sort of work so there's a lot of like low-key stuff that can sort of lower how enhanced someone is and a lot of it at the moment comes down to like a lot of influences and stuff like that that, ha that sort of have their own agendas uh especially agendas that are that are quite competitive and this this competitive field is i mean it's so strong in humans uh, this uh, competitive aspect this duality aspect and the reason why is because it's been it's been such a big reality for such a long time but now when you have this like digital virtual space it's 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 like yeah you can use create more abundance like you can use like if a person used this a human being uh you can use create more abundance for example let's take youtube if someone is clicking a million times on a video that doesn't mean 
there is uh, less clicks for you um, because it costs so little to like click on a video that person can like move on to your video the next and uh, it gets very very interesting uh, that 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 that's, that's, that's sort of shift that eventually sort of should happen and it, it's something that is interesting because because you could not, you could not really do, uh, you cannot really, this human being aspect, just a couple of years ago, it would sound strange. It would, it would sound a bit uh, less like it makes sense because more fixed roles, way more fixed roles where people sort of looking at the world where, oh, that person is doing that thing. The other person is doing that thing and it's like everyone has to roll and everyone sort of is a cog in some kind of machine. But now it's very, very fluid and people sort of starting to, I think people realizing in many ways, especially with these new token crypto systems that are more inclusive, they're sort of starting to realize that other human beings, if they're successful, then you're going to become more successful. And if you are an amazing human being, uh, other people are going to see that and it's going to have this positive feedback loop. Well, with a lot of these other systems and it, it, it was it was not just on the internet. I mean, it's like in all sort of industries, uh, it, it, it was that it was not really rewarded that much. It was not really rewarded that much. Uh, if, you, if you were a great person, many times it was not really rewarded. Uh, 